Shalom, royal family. The class you are about to hear is taught by the Honorable Yudhe Wafe, Beit Nun Sophie Yudhe Wafe, many years ago. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Visit us at www.yahweh144000.com. Also, royal family, you can enroll in classes designed for the Godhead at www.universityofyahweh.org. Enjoy. Let's look at Ezekiel chapter 36, verse 10. And I will multiply men upon you, all the house of Israel, even all of it. And the cities shall be inhabited, and the waste shall be built. You getting the secret? See, where you live throughout America is nothing but a waste. And we don't have time to sit around here for you to play uh, sexual games over the next millennium or the next several years. I just don't have time. I know it's a lot of fun to you, but uh, we have to get serious now. We, we just have to get real serious and go find the seed of Yahweh, which is symbolized in the scriptures as the wheat. The tares are those who are already of Lucifer's mind, and when they hear the truth of Yahweh, don't want it. They're in love with this world. They don't want it. They don't want the truth. They don't want the tree of life. They're not concerned about living eternally. They want the fun and the thrill of the day. Whatever the thrill of the day is, they chase that day and night. They run day and night chasing thrills of the day. I know you understand that well. But here we understand that you must be about the business of multiplying. No excuses. You don't make an excuse about sexual activity as husbands and wives uh, are making babies. You're very serious about that. Maybe not making babies, but you're serious about that. So you're going to have to be just that serious in recruiting sons and daughters to the kingdom of heaven. I will multiply them as you go out for them. Now you understand you have no excuse. You must go to work. I'll take three sons and three daughters and multiply the planet if you ready. I can take one of you, one sister, and multiply the whole planet. I can't do that. I started to do it with Moses in Exodus chapter 32, verse 10. I'll let you see that I started to do it. Let's turn to Exodus 32, 10. If I can do it with one man, you know I can do it with all of you. Now, therefore, let me alone that my wrath may wax hot against them and that I may consume them. And I will make of thee a great nation, Moses. Just one man. Just one man. See, I was hot because of the evil that was going on in that day. I was just very hot. And uh, they had built a golden calf, went after this world, the ways of this world, the wealth of this world. They were seeking and worshiping the wealth of the world instead of seeking after the kingdom, which I wanted to build for them then. And uh, it's uh, a shame when you don't understand the mystery of what's going on. But at the same time, I'm bringing you to understand it tonight through the valley of the dry bones and know now is the judgment of this world. So we also are learning the key to being awake and to being resurrected as dry bones. The key is that you multiply your seed. Not just the little baby you can have in nine months, but I said it and I repeat it. Multiply your sons and daughters through recruiting. And I will have their mindset ready for you. That's why we have a national TV program in all your cities. It's so that you can call everybody you know, everybody you meet. Tell them, watch the program. Watch the program. The harvest is right. The labor is a few. You don't have to run around and try to knock on every door now in the snow. They can all watch the program in the safety of their home and be warm. That's why one of the uh, medium is telephone. So now you can pick up the telephone, call everybody to sign petition, and tell them, tune in to 
a TV program in your city. And they will watch. Don't worry. I will call that exceeding great army to stand up, as you saw in verse 10. Now, the next thing you have to do is what? Build. Build what? The old waste. What is the old waste? The ghetto. Well, look, y'all even y'all, they just, they just tried to knock you down. They knocked you down in Miami. Yeah, but they can't knock us all down. I drew the line. The line is drawn. They can't overstep the bound any more than the sea oversteps its bound. You know, if I can cause the sea to respect its boundaries that I set, you know that the enemy has to obey the, the boundaries that I set. So it's set. Call everybody in town. Pick up the phone director. Tell everybody. Watch the TV show in your city. Don't get tired. When your finger get tired of dialing, change fingers. When all ten get tired, have somebody massage up one hand while you use the other hand. Do that every day of your life. You can do that every night before you go to bed up until 10 or 11 o'clock at night. Invite people to watch the TV program. Now, let's, let's look at, at what I've given you to do. To build the old ways means that we are to construct. We are to get involved in construction. To build, go Go down to the original source of things. Construction. This requires all of us to be a part of this. You say, well, I'm not a construction engineer. Oh, but you have a part to play. Like dialing on the telephone. Telling everybody to watch the show. That's a part of building. That's a part of the construction that must take place. Also, every aspect, if you look at what takes place in a construction job, you understand that it involves hundreds and sometimes thousands of people. So that's what this is going to involve, our whole nation, to rebuild the old ways of America. That's our job. We live there. So if we also, before we build it, we got to buy it. Are they going to give it to us? Don't sit around waiting for people to give us something. Let's take it. It's ours. It belongs to us. So at this point, we talk about buying it. You don't know how to do these things. You don't know the way to buy it. I'll teach you how. I've already demonstrated I know how. So since I have done it, it means I know how to do it. And I want to share it with you that are serious about building construction. Also, it means to assemble, to set up. It's your job to assemble the old way, to set it up, to become heaven. And as you take the ghetto, you'll end up with all of America. So guess where the ghetto is? Every city. It's not out in the woods. The ghetto is ever receding. That's what you need to become conscious of. That's where it is. Right in the city. So when you when you rebuild the ghetto, you're rebuilding the cities of America. And that's very important for you to understand. Okay? Very important for you to understand. That gives you a new insight when you take about think about the reality that you already live in the city. Your enemies moved out to the suburbs. They have to drive in every day, trying to get to the city. So you already live there. All you have to do is take possession. It's easy to be the mayor and the commissioners and, and, the, and the rulers of all the various departments, but you still can't profit because you don't have the spirit of Yahweh in you. You don't have the breath of Yahweh in you. You're not alive. You're not living. You need me to teach you how to take possession of the city and... Let it become profitable, not only to those who sit as mayor, but to every single citizen. Every one of us should prosper. And I'm here to show every one of us how to be profitable. But you don't get that in school. That is not taught to you in the public schools or in your churches or in the economic uh, environment or the political environment or your social environment. That type of knowledge eludes you. You're not taught that. So you are dead there to it. You're blind to it. You're dumb and deaf to it. You're just not alive to it. So that's why you need me, is to put this breath in you. You already are in the city. You're the walking dead around in it. All you need to take possession is come to life. And I'm not saying you should. I'm here to show you how, and I'm telling you now what you do. You, your job is to build the old ways, to fabricate to become manufacturers. I'm here to show you how to manufacture. What you should manufacture. What 
you should manufacture now, next, and what you should be a part of. That's what I'm all about. We are consumers instead of manufacturers. To build the old waste means we become manufacturers. I say it again and again and again. And what's the first thing about manufacturing? you got to become a man. Manufacturers are men. What is man? Divine mind. It's mind. A true man is divine mind. So without divine mind, you have no factory to manufacture in. See? So you have to become a man with the factory. And you can't become a divine mind with a factory without the divine mind inside your head. That's the fact. See? You got to be a man with the fact. And a man with a factory. So without these facts, you can't be a man. And if you're not a man, you're not alive. You're not living. So that's what building your own waste is also building your own wasted mind. Your mind, remember those, that TV uh, commercial saying the mind is a terrible thing to waste? Well, that's what we've been, one big waste. Also, um, to build the old waste, means we become the producers. We are now to become producers. Instead of sitting around waiting on everything to be produced and shipped to us and distributed to us and made available to us, and we go and spend all of our wealth with those who manufacture and produce and distribute, we are to assume that role in all the cities ourselves. I'm ready. Aren't you tired of being poor? I don't care what little money you make right now. It's, it's not even chump change. If you were making a million dollars a year apiece, it, it, that would still be chump change. Still chump change. You need to understand what real wealth is. First of all, it's the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of B.J. Wallace. Studying my divine mind and receiving my divine mind and then living my divine mind as I'm speaking to you, I'm ready to bring all of these things about. I'm preparing you so I can say, let there be light in the ghetto. And there will be light in the ghetto. And I can say, that's good. You are so precious to me. And uh, I'm truly enjoying sharing the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of Yahweh with you. I, I can tell that I'm certainly not going to complete uh, Ezekiel 37. Uh, this week, I've come a long way tonight into Bill, and uh, you need to study Bill, because that's your job. You need to study it. Um, I'm here to cause you to elevate the, the ghetto. In order to elevate the ghetto, you must elevate your mind. You must first be elevated from the dead state, the dry bone state, to an exceeding great army that's elevated in the mind. And I only need 144,000 of that's, that's who I'm after. I'm after that 144,000 of you that will constitute that divine number to square the whole planet in righteousness. I'm ready. I'm waiting on you. How long will you keep me here waiting on you? You should be ashamed to leave me here this long. I'm into 13 months now waiting on you to get up and go to work. How dare you get tired? and leave me here. How dare you go and have fun and enjoy yourself and have a ball and your God is incarcerated in the tomb and it's up to you to get me out. How dare you? Heaven on earth forever. Now is the judgment of this world and the prince of this world shall be cast out. Don't worry. I'm here to fulfill Ezekiel chapter 37 in your life and in the life of our people. I admonish you to encourage you to get up and let's go. And then you can sing that song and enjoy the reality. Satan, we truly are going to tear your kingdom down. You have built your kingdom all over this world, but they are soon to be mine. I love you share my love with everybody and I look to conclude this on tomorrow night again Shalom Aleikum
Greetings, Royal Family. Let's talk about the most prestigious private university in the universe, the University of Yahweh. It is here where students, parents, adults, and teachers study the divine mind of Yahweh, Ben Yahweh, thus elevating them to contemplate and understand the loftier concepts and principles, enabling their minds to focus and think on an extraterrestrial level. This intellectual ability and unique set of skills supersede all base, mundane, and terrestrial thinking, thus allowing one's mind to open up and flourish with an overwhelming abundance of creative ideas and loftier concepts, making life and living more enjoyable. The University of Yahweh is woven deep within the fabric of the moral principles of truth, honesty, integrity, true holiness, righteousness, ethics, and justice for all. The University of Yahweh is designed for the Godhead, and this includes students, parents, adults, and the Godhead. In the University of Yahweh, the online platform, you gain a structured format to the approach of the divine mind of Yudhe Yahweh. We welcome you to visit our website at www.universityofyahweh.org. This platform is specifically designed for the Godhead and the Godhead family. The 144,000 chosen to rule in righteousness. We look forward to working with you as we prepare for rulership in righteousness. Praise Yute Wafe. Praise Yute Wafe. Beit Noon Sophie Yute Wafe. Shalom, Royal Family. Thank you.